Hey there folks, this is day 19 of the Linux Obscure Challenge and we are going to learn about links and shortcuts. Roll the lever, crunk. Roll the lever! Huh? So the concept of a shortcut is pretty simple. You have a path to a file and you don't want to have to walk through the whole path to get to that file. You can simply link another file to that original file. But to understand how this works, it's important that we get the concept of inodes first. inode stands for index node and it's a data structure that describes a file system object such as a file and the importance of the inode is that it stores the attributes of that file, the permissions, size of the file, who's the, the user owner, the group and it links those attributes to a block of data. When you think of a file, it's not just the data. You have the data and you have the attributes of that file related to that data. One way to check for inodes, they are part of the file system, so you can check using df-i for inodes, you can see the amount of inodes that the file system has. I can also use ls-i of a file, this is the inode number for this file. There is a, a common call it touch, we use it to create an empty file, but actually what we're doing is setting up an inode for a block of data that doesn't exist yet. If I want the details of this newly created file, we can use stat file. And here we are, we have a file that is empty and the inode is 285556. These are the permissions, this is the user ID, this is the group ID, and it's a regular empty file. If I input some information into this file, give it some size to the file, now there's something inside of it, and it's not just a regular empty file, now it's just a regular file, and the inode stays the same. So we have some blocks of data that are related to this inode. Why are we talking about inodes? I just want to have a shortcut to a file because we have two types of links in a Linux system. We have the sim link, that also called the soft link, and a hard link. A soft link is an inode that is referencing another inode. I mean, I'm getting to the same block of data in the end, but I'm referencing the inode instead. To create a soft link, I use ln as a link dash s for soft or sim link. I create that for file, creating softy. If I check my files here, you can see that I just created softy and it's referencing file. Another thing that is important to notice is that you can see symbolic link for softy, have a, a different inode ID from the file. If I want more information on that, I can use stat dash capital L what softy is referencing to. You see now that the inode that is referencing is the inode of the file that we have originally. The same size and same permissions, same user, same group. A hard link works a little different. It does not create a different inode. It references directly that inode of the original file that goes to data block. Because we're connected. And for that we just use ln and we create for file hard link. If we check again, our file and hardy, they have the same inode. We can see they are the same. They have the same size, they have the same inode and they have the same data blocks. Comparing the soft link with the hard link, you can see they have the same idea, they have the same objective, and there's one little detail. If I'm to delete the original file, the hard link is still going to have the same inode and going to the data block, but the soft link, although they're not going to change, they are going to be referencing something that no longer exists. So here we have our file and our two links, the soft link and the hard link. Let's remove our file from this mix. One indication that something is not right with softy is that it just turned red and if we try to open softy, we're just creating a new file because it's referencing nothing. Hello? But if we are trying hardy, we got to the file that we have originally. 
Another type of shortcut is the shortcut to another program. To that we call alias. Sorry, I shouldn't use my real name. If we want to see which alias we already have in our system, we can just type alias and see we have one thing that in particular that is interesting the ls variations you see when we use ls we are actually using ls color auto why do we create aliases is a shortcut for a comment that we use often and want to type everything all over again call say moo we can just create an alias called moo call say moo if i invoke this new comment that i just created here we are so that's all for now folks Thanks for watching, see you next time.